this is Lillian, reporting for duty, Lincoln ER. I started my shift. I work uh, 2 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. Entering in. United States of America is the richest country in the world. Why weren't we prepared for this and why are we struggling like this? What's your name and what do you do? Uh, my name is Mark Francois. My name is Rosaria Ascona. My name is Courtney James. Marsha Irving. I'm a staff nurse at Lincoln Hospital in the adult ER. Here at Lincoln Hospital. I'm at Lincoln Hospital for 15 years now. It's for many, many years. We're used to high patient volume and we're used to high acuity. We are ER providers, like we rock, we are nurses. We do things in the ER for results, and now we can't really do what we usually do. The patients just are on a different end of the spectrum here in the South Bronx. Our patients, the Black and Hispanics, they are dying more free at an increased rate. I remember being at work one day, and five patients needed to be intubated, and we were down to one vent. Uh, I personally have had six intubated patients at one time. You know, praying and hoping they'll pull through. Giving meds, giving meds, doing blood work, giving meds. People are just dying that normally, typically, don't die. In reality, it's sad to see how the family can't be in a moment critical with the patients. Like dead on arrival, you know, um, expired shortly after coming, and it's just like a body bag detail. How know? many did you have to do today um, so far? So far, three body bags. And what are some of the challenges you're facing right now? Well, there's a whole laundry list of challenges. One being PPE. The sweat is pouring down your face, and they're telling you to take the same wet, snotty nose mask and wear it for five days. That is unheard of. And the fact that there is obvious lack of supplies to actually use on these patients is scary. Looking for supplies, I mean, I spent a good part of my day doing that. We shouldn't have to wait for a pandemic to come to have backup vents or extra pumps, which we still don't have. And if we had the government behind us to provide us the resources that we need, I think Ms. Oakland would probably still be alive. Um. So. Frida Okran was a nurse educator and former head nurse at Jacoby Medical Center in the Bronx, New York. She posted this picture on Facebook and wrote, I can't stay home. I'm a healthcare worker. Four days later, she was admitted to the hospital. She told me I can't breathe. So once I found out that she was a nurse like me, my heart just fell for her. I told her, try to fight, fight harder. I know you can do it. Nurses who say they're being stretched thin gathered for a vigil outside Lincoln Hospital in the Bronx. The nurses held signs with slogans like, we are nurses, not martyrs. I want to thank everyone for thinking that we are heroes and, I mean, we may be so, but we also human too. We have, a, we've gone through a lot of loss of family. I, I lost a lot of friends in Long Island. I... Coming home from work, I've never felt so saddened by what I've seen. Like, I'm just thinking about it. It's like, tired. You know, I want to sleep and I want to, I don't know, I want to go to the park. I want things to be back normal, but this is what we do. The hard work is not the problem right now. Oh, what's that? Someone just came off the vent from COVID. Someone's extubated. Someone got extubated. That's, That's a new thing, a clapping. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's great. That's great. We love that.